Hello everyone. In the series of acid base lecture, uh, our today's topic is Hamet's acidity function. So this is a special tool for measuring the strength of acids for the strong acids or the acids which have molar concentration more than one. First of all, we have to understand the term acid dissociation constants. What is called an acid dissociation constant? Actually, when an acid is dis uh, dissociated, then the conjugate base and the proton is produced. So, just for the uh, just the chemical equilibrium format of that equation, uh, of that chemical equation, uh, and the equilibrium constant is uh, which is obtained is actually the uh, acid dissociation constant. It is denoted by Ka. Suppose H A is, de is decomposed into a, uh, H plus and A minus, so their active masses are uh, respectively H plus uh, third bracket, A minus third bracket that and H A third bracket. That means concentration of H plus, concentration of A minus and concentration of undissociated acid. Okay. And uh, the what is the equilibrium constant of that equation? The equilibrium constant of that equation is concentration of the conjugate base, concentration of proton and concentration of the undissociated acid. And this is actually the acid known as the acid dissociation constant and denoted as Ka. Okay, so it gives the quantitative measure of its acid strength. So uh, uh, as much strong is the acid uh, that that uh, it will dissociate more. And more dissociation takes place, higher is the value of Ka. So definitely it gives the quantitative measure of its acid strength. If it is a weak acid, then Ka value is less. If it is a strong acid, Ka value is high. Such Ka values cannot be obtained for strong acids in aqueous solutions due to their complete dissociation. If the acid is completely dissociated for strong acids like hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, nitric acid, etc., then this uh, undissociated form becomes zero. So this overall numerical part becomes undefined because numerator is has some value but the denominator is zero is actually undefined. So it is not possible to determine the value of Ka. Uh, for strong acids due to their complete dissociation. Now move on to the Hamet's acidity function. It is denoted as capital H suffix 0. Okay, so let us proceed. A new parameter called Hamet's acidity function H0 has been defined for a quantitative measure of the acid strength of concentrated solutions. That means the solutions, acidic solutions which have concentrated more than 1. Actually if it is concentration 1 then its pH is 0. So uh, there should be uh, pH negative pH in case of acids which have concentration more than one but the fact is that we actually write in place of H plus and concentration the concentration we write actually at high concentration uh, or low dilution concentration term cannot be written actually we have to write the activity term okay so we have to introduce the activity term here now how it is determined? Let us see. The Hamet's acidity function takes care of the protonation deprotonation equilibria for an indicator base B, for example, para amino azo benzene in strong acids such that uh, uh, that is uh, this uh, decomposition reaction uh, takes place. So, what is the meaning of this line? Actually, there is some base, for example, para amino azo benzene. There is some azo moiety. Due to this azo moiety, it is colorful. In the acid uh, um, protonated form, it has uh, some color, and in the deprotonated form, it has a different color. Okay, so this is actually an indicator, and this indicator is basic in nature. Okay, so this indicator base B is taking the proton from the acid, strong acid, and that proton is um, forming an adduct like BH positive. Now this BH positive, this adduct is formed. This adduct may undergo dissociation and th this way the uh, pure base can be obtained by releasing the proton. So this is protonated form, this is the deprotonated form. Okay, so there should be some Ka value. The Ka value must be concentration of B, concentration of H plus divided by concentration of BH plus. But as I have said that concentration cannot be written here we have to put actually the activity value 
so how active activities obtained instead of concentration actually when activity coefficient is multiplied with concentration then activity are obtained that is activity of b activity of h plus activity of bh minus divided by okay so when active when concentration of b plus b is multiplied with activity of b f b then uh, i'm sorry activity coefficient of b then activity of b is obtained when concentration of the proton is multiplied with the activity coefficient of h plus then uh, activity of h plus is obtained similarly when concentration of bh positive is multiplied with activity coefficient of bh plus then the activity of bh plus is obtained these activity terms have been separated in this equation okay so f terms are the activity coefficient term activity coefficient parts are separated here and the concentration terms are separated here now generally the organic base bears different colors these two things b the deprotonated form has some color particular color and the protonated form bh positive has a particular color now when this ratio changes suppose from 0.1 to 10 okay 0.1 means this is 10 times concentrated or 10 means this one is 10 times greater concentration okay so this may vary from 0.1 to 10 or beyond that range also so depending upon that their color should be different okay and if this color the intensity of this color is measured spectrophotometrically then this ratio can be obtained now this ratio is actually a constant and that constant value is ka into bh positive by b and that is also equal to h positive into the activity coefficient parts look at the previous equation i move on here here okay here actually the h positive part is taken is kept with the activity coefficient parts then this part bh positive concentration would combine here will go to the left hand side and it combines with the ka part on the other hand the b third bracket b this part also will move on to the left hand side that means it will go to the denominator and bh positive remains in the numerator as well as ka is also remaining in the numerator so this part ka into concentration of bh positive divided by concentration of b is actually concentration of h plus into the activity coefficient parts and both left hand side and the right hand side are constant and this constant is denoted as small letter h zero okay this is some property this does h zero turns out to be a property of the solution irrespective of the nature of b and of its concentration definitely what may be the concentration of b what may be the nature of b it does not matter because here both of them are absent okay so that's why this is some property which can be expressed uh, with respect to the concentration of h plus and only now think about the mathematical expression of log uh, log minus log h plus concentration what is that that is ph so the mathematical expression of ph is minus log h plus concentration here we are approaching to the similar kind of thing but instead of h plus and concentration there is some other terms also which are the activity coefficients of the three species such as b h positive and b h positive okay so if we take the negative log value of this thing then instead of ph we get the hamet's acidity function h0 so that is the difference between ph and hamet's acidity function h0 so ph is the negative log value of concentration of h plus ion whereas the hamet's acidity function is the negative log of con concentration of h plus ion plus negative log of the activity coefficients of b h positive divided by b h positive so this is written here so thus a0 turns out to be a property of the solution irrespective of the nature of b and its concentration as of site now the hamet's acidity function a0 is thus defined as negative logarithm of small letter h0 as if you take the minus log of this thing then minus log of h plus concentration is actually the uh, um, actually the ph of the solution but here the minus log of this overall thing is actually the minus log of this overall thing the minus log of 
the left hand side of this equation so what is the minus log of left hand side of this equation the minus log of left hand side of this equation is minus log of k that means pka minus log of concentration of bh positive by concentration of b positive uh, uh, concentration of b that means plus log of the reciprocal of this thing that means b in the name b goes to the numerator and bh positive concentration goes to the denominator so the negative log of h0 negative log of h0 is actually the negative log of overall left hand side of this equation okay if this is the left hand side this is the right hand side so the overall log my negative log of the left hand side of this uh, of this uh, term and this term is consisting uh, is separated into two parts k a is in one part and this uh, fraction this rational part is another part okay so the negative log of k a is p k a and the negative log of this thing is actually the positive log of its reciprocal so this is known as the hamid's acidity function okay now in dilute solutions the f values are unity isn't it if the solution is diluted then uh, what becomes the activity coefficient activity coefficient becomes one then in that case it is actually the ph of the solution okay so in that case h0 is um, h plus concentration and hence h0 equal to ph okay so for dilute solutions hamid's acidity function and ph are same thing but in concentrated solutions h0 of different acids of same molarity so considerable difference in the values of h0 to make it a suitable scale for comparison of strong acids because on the basis of ph the strong acids cannot be compared okay for them only hamid's acidity function is the tool uh, depending upon which we can compare the strength of the highly concentrated acids so here are some examples such as we started from pure water so what is the molarity of pure water molarity of pure water is definitely 1000 divided by 18 so it is pp 5.55 mol and in that case ph and acidity function h0 is plus 7 both are same but if you take six molar aqueous solution of nitric acid then what is the minus log 6 value the minus log 6 value is minus 0.77 but the h0 value is minus 1.5 it's much much higher the aqueous solution of hydrochloric acid 6.9 molar what is its negative log that means minus log of 6.9 you take a calculator and put the value you will get that the minus log of 6.9 is minus 0.84 but here it is minus 2.0 perchloric acid the strongest acid in the universe isn't it so if you take 8 molar perchloric acid then minus log of 8 is actually minus 0.9 but here it is 2.63 so look it is the strong acid and look its value this 2.63 it's substantially very high value now aqueous solution of sulfuric acid 70% 70% means actually 100% aqueous uh, uh, 100% sulfuric acid means uh, what 36 normal isn't it so 70% is 70% of 36 normal that is 25.2 normal which is in turn 12.6 molar so minus log of 12.6 is minus 1.1 but look the strength it is minus 5.54 100% aqueous solution of sulfuric acid actually 100% means 36 normal that means 18 molar so minus log of 18 molar you just take the calculator and try to calculate this this will give the value minus 1.26 but here it is minus 10.60 so activity coefficient here plays a vital role okay that is why these values have been drastically changed so this way for strong acids Uh, which is particularly uh, their concentration is more than one uh, for them instead of ph we have to use the hamid's acidity function h0 and we have got the expression of hamid's acidity function h0 which is, what is that this is actually pka plus log 
of concentration of the reference base or the indicator base divided by the concentrated concentration of the protonated form of the same so that's all about Hamid's acidity function and that's all for today thank you